In this lecture, we consider the initial value problem y double prime plus 3xy prime plus 4y equals 0 with the initial conditions that y of 0 equals 1 and y prime of 0 equals 1. We are to find a power C resolution of the form y of x equals a sub 0 plus a sub 1 times x plus a sub 2 times x squared and so on. In summation form, this is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of a sub n times x to the nth power. For this exercise, we will assume that the power C resolution y of x is uniformly and absolutely convergent on some finite interval of positive length. We will also assume that y prime can be obtained by term by term differentiation of y, that is, we differentiate each of the terms of y to get y prime. The same will be true for y double prime. The first thing that we do is to test the initial conditions on the power series solution. y of 0 is equal to 1, so that if we plug in x equals 0 into the series solution, the only term that will be left will be a sub 0. And so a sub 0 is equal to 1. We assume that we can obtain y prime by differentiating each of the terms of y. A sub 0 being a constant, the derivative is 0. The derivative of a sub 1 times x is a sub 1. The derivative of a sub 2 times x squared is 2 a sub 2 times x, and so on. We can obtain the summation form for y prime by simply differentiating the sum and a sub n times x to the nth power. We get the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of n times a sub n times x to the n minus 1 power. We check the initial condition that y prime of 0 equals 1 into the series solution of y prime. Plugging in x equals 0 into the series representation for y prime, all the terms except for a sub 1 disappear. And so a sub 1 is equal to 1. We obtain y double prime in exactly the same fashion. The derivative of a sub 1 is 0. The derivative of 2a sub 2 times x is 2a sub 2, or 1 times 2 times a sub 2. The derivative of 3a sub 3x squared is 2 times 3 times a sub 3 times x, and so on. We obtain the summation form by differentiating the sum and n times a sub n times x to the n minus 1 power in y prime and obtain n minus 1 times n times a sub n times x to the n minus 2 power. Because of the assumption that all of these series are uniformly and absolutely convergent on some finite interval of positive length, we should be able to combine similar terms in the differential equation. We start with the term for y. For y is simply the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 4 times a sub n times x to the nth power. Then we have the term 3xy prime. Multiplying 3x to the c we solution we get the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 3n times a sub n, and then we increase the exponent n minus 1 by 1 to get x to the nth power. y double prime is by itself in the differential equation, but we still have to manipulate the power series for y double prime. The reason is that we will be working with similar terms so that it would be nice if all of the summands in the summations have all the same powers of x. We simply increase the exponent of x to the n minus 2 power to n, giving us x to the nth power, change a sub n to a sub n plus 2, n becomes n plus 2, and n minus 1 becomes n plus 1. In short, we merely increase the values of n in the sum n to n plus 2. 
We should also make corresponding adjustments to the limits of the summation for the series for y double prime. But fortunately, this is not necessary. Letting n start at zero and go all the way up to infinity in the summation for the series formulation for y double prime still works. And so the differential equation in power series form becomes the sum from n equals zero to infinity of the quantity n plus one times the quantity n plus two times a sub n plus two times x to the nth power. Then we have the sum from n equals zero to infinity of three n times a sub n times x to the nth power. And finally, we have the sum from n equals zero to infinity of four a sub n times x to the nth power. And all of this is equal to zero. We combine all of these into a single summation, and so we have the sum from n equals zero to infinity of the following entire quantity. We start with the curly brace. We have the quantity n plus one times the quantity n plus two times a sub n plus two, plus three n a sub n, plus four a sub n, and then close with the curly brace, we factored out x to the nth power. We did say that we were going to work with similar terms. On the right side, we have zero. Since we are working with similar terms, the coefficient the quantity n plus one times the quantity n plus two times a sub n plus two plus three n a sub n plus four a sub n must be equal to zero. We bring the terms 3n a sub n plus 4 a sub n to the other side. And so on the left side, we have the quantity n plus 1 times the quantity n plus 2 times a sub n plus 2. On the right side, we factor out a sub n, and so we have minus the quantity 4 plus 3n times a sub n. Solving for a sub n plus 2, we get minus the fraction with the numerator the quantity 4 plus 3n times a sub n. And in the denominator, we have the product of n plus 1 and n plus 2. This is true for n greater than or equal to 0. And with the initial values that a sub 0 and a sub 1 are both equal to 1.